Hi everyone, how's it going? Little update on me. Um, this morning I had a really bad pain here. Um, the point was to jolt me awake with the pain, which leads me to believe that the electronic torture might be happening a little bit closer to home than I thought. Um, but other than that, it's kind of been like a little bit mid when it comes to the pain. Truth be told, right now as I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm not going through as much pain as I did last night. It's probably because as I'm filming, it is like what, five o'clock in the evening? And it usually gets worse around the time where you're supposed to go to sleep, like 10 or 11 o'clock. So right now as I'm speaking to you, the torture isn't as bad. And um, there's no torture here either. So that's died down. Um, pretty much the whole day, I've been relatively in high spirits. Um, nothing manic, like no manic changing moods or anything. But my mood has been quite high. It's been like a little bit up here. Um, so I've had like a relatively good day emotionally. The electronic torture is still there, but it's not as pronounced as it was last night, um, except for very early. Well, not very early this morning, but just as I was getting up this morning. Apart from that, my mood has been pretty stable. Everything's been OK. Um, I'm sure they'll crank up the torture as soon as I come off camera. Um, and as soon as it gets to be late, they'll, they'll crank it up again. I'm, I'm absolutely positive about that. I'm fiddling right now, fiddling with something in my hand. But yeah. I just wanted to come online today because there's something that I talked about and I've already shared it on my Facebook, on my Instagram. I don't think I've shared it on YouTube, but I have shared it on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. And what I'm examining today is this idea that TIs talk about. And that's this idea that, oh, you're next, the perps are next. Let me tell you, T.I., something, right? You have no idea how much danger the perps are in. None. Because this is the thing. When it comes to surveillance, when it comes to electronic weaponry, right? And especially when you're talking about doing it against multiple people, you're talking about satellite technology, we still have chips in our body that are at this moment redundant. There's no need to chip us at this point, right? There's no need to chip us. There's no need for like groups of people to be circulating around the place, monitoring anything. It's not necessary. The electronic torture is all that's needed. That's literally all that's needed. And people can just get on with the rest of their lives and none the wiser if it was just stuck to electronic torture and keeping it among as few people as possible, then maybe the targeting wouldn't be as exposed as it is. But because they want to elevate our stress levels in order to augment the torture, quite often we end up with perps who are hired for the specific purpose of stressing us out. They, we don't even need them. For, well, I say we, but the, their bosses don't even need the perps for surveillance really they don't need them for surveillance they don't need them for any of that they don't need these people to tell their bosses or their superiors what we're doing they don't need that because they already have our houses bugged through our technology they already have us on screen like all this all this surveillance all this hiring the community making sure oh we're gonna spy on people we're getting frauds and we're getting, no, these idiots who are not qualified, who are barely functioning emotionally, they are not needed for surveillance work. They're barely even needed for electronic torture. The only reason why they're there is to augment the stress of the victim and also to be able to cull a larger amount of people at a cheaper price. Let's get into it. All right. When you are a targeted individual, you are an experimental subject. Ex experiments need to be insured. There is a reason why they haven't killed you immediately. 
I say that everything that I'm going through and everything that TIs go through is pathological murder. And it is. But it is cheaper to keep you alive and to keep experimenting on you than it is to outright kill you. Our lives are worth something because we've been insured. We are insured right along with the weapons, right along with the untested um, medications that they like to force down TI's throats. All of that is insured. The weapons that are used against us, the pharmaceuticals used against us, those things are insured. So it makes sense to insure your test subjects as well. Guess who's not insured? The perps are not insured. And I keep saying that, you know, the perps have to stay in line or they better stay in line. Otherwise, they're going to get killed. They're going to get killed anyway. They're going to get cold anyway. That's why perps keep fucking up and it makes absolutely no difference. The only difference between them walking away from the case and... um, Where I call it there? The only difference between them walking away from the case and them staying the course is when they get killed. And that's the only difference. When you're a perp, it makes no difference whether you act up and blow the thing, whether you succeed in what you're doing. The bosses are going to kill you. They're going to kill you one way or another. They're not going to do it directly. They're not going to do it by sending goons around to your house or, you know, or, or anything like that. But remember, these people have advanced weaponry. And every TI that ends up in a new situation, they end up, any, any TI who has moved to a new neighborhood, that neighborhood becomes an experimental facility. That neighborhood becomes a prime, a prime place for culling. Wherever the TI is. Why do you think they always try to have TIs housed? Nine times out of ten, when you see a homeless TI, their TI is homeless by choice. They're not they're not homeless because, you know, they they you know, they're just kicked out. And no, a lot of them don't sleep in their homes. A lot of them sleep in tents. Because where whichever neighborhoods they're placed in, that is a prime experimentation facility for mind control and behavioral control and for torture. So it doesn't matter what the perps do. The perps can leave, the perps can stay. It amounts to the same thing. They're going to be culled by the same people who hired them. And again, TIs are insured. We, you know, I'm not an angel. I've got stuff on my, I've got stuff on, you know, I've got stuff on me that I've done in the past. I'm not an angel. But what I've done is nothing compared to what the TIs, uh, compared to what the gang stalkers have done. What TIs do and any sins that TIs may, may have committed, it is nothing. And I mean nothing in comparison to what perps do every day in order to try to get a rise out of you, in order to try to augment the electronic torture. It is nothing. You have to admit. When the perps are drafted, when the perps are recruited, they're recruited one of two ways. Either they are bribed by having their ego stroked or their vices facilitated. Or they're paid with a shitty amount of money or that's the first thing or they're blackmailed into it by using their addictions against them, by using their sentences against them, by using their children against them, by using their families against them. So those are two ways in which perps are drafted. And when they're drafted by those two ways, accepting bribery or being blackmailed based on something you've already done, before you even begin the case, before you even begin the case that you're allocated, you've got a black name, you've got a black stain on your name already. You've got a black stain on your file already. You've already got a black mark on your file before you even begin the targeting, before you even begin the stalking. So if you do, if you perform hate crimes daily, if you perform, if you are constantly performing hate crimes, you're breaking into people's homes, you're taunting them, you're harassing them. Even if the police don't charge you, it's going on your file. 
And with every new crime you commit every day, you become less useful and less valuable to the people that hired you. Because remember, perps outnumber TIs, or at least they outnumber aware TIs. They can easily find another perp, it's not a problem. All they have to do is use their shame against them. That's their shame or their guilt or their fear. That's all they have to do. Use that against them. And they've got a perp. If you're bribed or blackmailed into this thing, you already have a stain on your name because you've accept bribery to commit terrorism or you've been blackmailed into committing terrorism based on something that there's something wrong that you've done before or something unlawful or illegal that you've done before. So you already got that black mark before the case begins. And then once the case begins, you're being basically hired to commit crime after crime after crime against the same target. And even though the police don't do anything, the police are helping you, the police are on your side. Please understand they're only on your side as a technicality. That file that they've got on you is building. If you're a perp, that file that they've got on you is building. They're building up whole backlogs of your crimes here. So that when the time comes for actually to actually ax you off, there's not going to be that much opposition. In fact, they're already making moves towards culling the next section of the population. Because first it was TIs, right? Then it was the elderly and disabled. That includes some of the perps. You have to remember a lot of perps have already died. Have already died. And, and left their fucking deaths uninvestigated. So when you're a perp and you've been blackmailed and bribed into this, it's not buying you life. It's not even buying you time because what are you doing with your time? Other than bothering a person that you've been taught to hire. What are you really doing? What are you really doing? This is exactly what I'm talking about when I say everybody has their karma. And to the perps that are trying to gaslight me about rituals that I've been doing in my home. Karma comes for everybody. It comes for everybody. I've made peace with that. It's you that hasn't made peace with that. It's you that hasn't made peace with that. You haven't made peace with your karma. And you haven't made peace with the fact that you sold your soul for nothing. And that's not even talking about the, the coupons or... You sold your soul for nothing. It's like... And you're about to find out. Because... <laughs> Baby, next month they ain't about to play no fucking games. You're about to find out exactly what you sold your soul for. Absolutely fuck all if you're a perp. So it's like it's kind of it's kind of amusing to watch perps try. <laughs> It's kind of amusing to watch perps try to use mentions and gaslighting to like try to rattle you, baby. I'm on the right side of history. There's there's nothing there's nothing left to say. It's you who is on the wrong side of history for nothing. You know what I mean? Makes no difference. Everyone knows what I am. You're the one, you're the ones you have to worry. Not me. I've made my peace. I'm good over here. It's you that's not good. So to recap. Perps are bribed or blackmailed into committing unlawful terrorism, which means that either, you know, well, they're, bribed or blackmailed into terrorism which means they already have a black mark on their file before they've even got into yours that's the first thing 
The second thing is, is that the more crimes they, came, they commit is the less valuable they become. Again, like I said on other shares that I've made, it's usually the other way around, right? You've seen like the worst types of people be able to get away with various abuses for decades. But hear what, right? That's only if the gang stalkers consider you to be especially valuable. If they consider you to be especially valuable, if they have it in mind for you to be like a high ranking handler or something like that, then maybe your crimes would pay off, but you're not and you never will be. You never will be. You're not built like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for, for the most part, perps become actually less valuable the more crimes they rack up. Because if anything comes out and it turns out that you were involved in it and you've already been genocided, what's left to talk about? They don't even have to bring you up. Oh, hey, Lauren. Okay, so what I'm discussing is... Um, what I'm discussing is like the nature of the perp's precariousness and gang stalking, like how precarious their role actually is, because it's never actually occurred to them that they're actually way more vulnerable than us TIs. And I know how it's going to sound. I know exactly how it's going to sound. Given everything that TIs go through, the poisonings, the torture, you're thinking to yourself, how the fuck are perps more um, vulnerable than TIs? It's very simple. The perps are next and not only are the perps next because of all the crimes that are going on these files because every every single person purple ti has a file every single crime these people are told to commit is another black mark on their file and remember their bosses have to keep these files they have to keep these files to keep the perps in line and make the perps think that there's something to use against them if they get out of line. But again, it's not going to make a difference if the perps get out of line. They're going to be killed anyway. And a lot of them, I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. A lot of them are actually tortured already. They just don't know. A lot of them are actually tortured already. They just don't know. The amount of, I've lost count of the amount of times that a perp has complained about a stomach ache or a headache that was blatantly caused by electronic torture. Not just medications, electronic torture. Do you know what I mean? So when TI say you're next, we have no idea how precarious the perp's position is. And what I said before, I'm going to repeat it again a third time so that everybody understands. When perps are bribed or blackmailed into gang stalking, they already have a black mark on their file that their bosses can use, to, use against them. They can either be bribed through their vices, through boosting their ego or something you're protecting the country some bullshit right they can be bribed which is accepting bribery for terrorism or they can be blackmailed into terrorism using a prior or using threat of pain or torture a one black mark on their file already then we've got to get into the crimes that they commit daily and a lot of these perps commit crimes daily for fucking years Imagine the long list of shit that these bosses have on these perps. Even if it's nothing outwardly traceable, they have to keep records on what these perps are actually doing. So imagine the records that are being kept on these perps. And with every single crime the perps commit, they become less valuable. They become less valuable and the job becomes more important for them to keep. Only there's a catch to this. The only difference between a perp quitting now and a perp staying the course is when they get killed or when they get axed off or when they get culled. 
that is the only the only difference is the timing that's the only difference so they literally sell their souls to be able to bully someone else they do all of that for nothing nothing absolutely fuck all all the pain that they they want me to go through all the suffering that they want me to go through it amounts to naught nothing absolutely fuck all because they're going after people layer after layer culling people programming people layer after layer of the shit and it's going to continue And perps are not exempt and they never have been exempt. Per there are perps who have already been murdered by the program. I'm sure of it. In fact, I, you know, I knew one person who allegedly was involved in the gang stalking. They've been killed by the same people that hired them. The people who hire the gang stalkers and the perps, they have no fucking loyalty. It's just self-interest all the way. And what they want to do is they want to get rid of some people on the fringes, get rid of any influential people on the fringes so that they can move on and kill the people who were instrumental in getting rid of those people on the fringes so that there are no witnesses to the shit. So that everybody can forget about gang stalking. Only to bring it up in 50 years. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. It's like I said on every single aspect of my social media. I begged these people to leave me alone. Now they can't leave me alone. And not only can they not leave me alone. It amounts to fucking nothing anyway. It is what it is. It is what it is. These people wanna these people wanna roll around in the mud and think they can't get dirty. They wanna feel good. This is the thing. They're scared of me. I'm not the one with the power to kill everyone who's involved in gang stalking. I don't have that power. Yet people are scared of me. Why? Because you want to feel good about bullying people. If you feel bad about bullying people, you're supposed to feel bad. So that you don't do it again. Like I said, I, you know, I and so many other TIs around the globe have given our torturers and our murderers chance after chance to leave us alone. Now they can't. And whether they quit or whether they stay the course, it makes no fucking difference. Now what? You seriously think this gang stalking shit is going on? No strong government, no strong organization needs to gang stalk anybody. You only do that if you're worrying that you're losing your power. No strong organization needs to gang stalk anyone. It is not necessary. It's not necessary. It's unnecessary. You only do that shit when you're worried about losing your power. That's the type of shit you do when you, you're worried that you're losing power, that you're losing influence over people. You start enforcing shit. Certainly at first, but you start in, enforcing shit. You start doing this gang stalking nonsense when you know your, your, your age, your empire is about to come to a close. That's the type of shit you do. And rest assured... Countries are exchanging, you know, they're making trades on the quiet. They're trading people on the quiet. Trading numbers on the quiet. Trading weapons and pharmaceuticals and surveillance technology on the fucking quiet. Guaranteed. And perps always think they can roll around in the mud and not get dirty. Your pleasure in other people's suffering will be your demise, literally. 
I don't know about you, but I'd rather die like a lion than live like a bitch. But that's just me. That's just me. So for my perp friends, go ahead and light your candles. Do what you need to do. It's not going to help you. If anything, sometimes certain things in life become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And sometimes your own actions can help speed the process. Do your thing. I'm good over here. All right. Ooh, ooh, okay. Is it October? It's still October. It's like the 28th. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. Either to today. No, not today. Either tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm going to get started with the November new moon. Because it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting stuff because October was, um, October was fabulous. I'm not going to hold you. It was fabulous. It was a fabulous month. But like November, we're about to see some, <laughs> we're in for some shit, people. Listen, um, yeah, we're in for some shit in November. I can tell you that right now for nothing. And it's going to be very interesting to see. So, shout out to my beautiful sister in spirit, Lauren Birch, who joined me on this live. Like, Lauren is just um, so consistently supportive of TIs. I do love her presence on my channel. I love her presence everywhere. She's a real one. Shout out to her. Um, I don't know if she can still hear me or still see me. But I hope that she accepts my thanks. And if you're a fellow TI like Lauren or myself, please let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. I always want to hear from you. Have I forgotten something? I feel like I've forgotten something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've forgotten anything. So... Yeah, if you're a fellow TI like Lauren or myself, reach out to us in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. My fellow TIs, it's only a couple of days before October ends. So I would suggest that you make the most of the, the October deals before the 31st, okay? It is realjusticetarot at gmail.com. That's the email I use for my TIs to get their discounts. Need your name, portrait, recent selfie, not a portrait, but a recent selfie, social media handles, a testimony, and your full name. I need all of those things um, so that I can continue to promote um, your struggle. Well, not your struggles, but to promote your testimony on my channel, to raise more awareness for TIs on Empress Justice Tarot and Empress Justice Daily. Speaking of Empress Justice Daily, that's about to undergo a change, but I'll let you know in a later video. So... Oh yeah, also, no, actually, nah, I'll leave it to the next reading. So make sure you guys check it out, okay? I love you guys so much. Peace and blessings. I'm, I'm sure I forgot something. I know I forgot something. I'm tr you know what? I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys so much. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. my darlings. Got to wait for this thing to, to speed up. <laughs>